that's when the uh, PBF Twitter account released the info to the public that we were going to be a Little Cup League uh, for this season. So we're going to have seven weeks of Little Cup action, and we've got a really, really fun draft, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Draft. I think uh, what number did we have? We got meow. I think we had last pick actually. We had last pick actually, and um, we so we just finished the APA Little Cup tour uh, sometime in early October. Um, we ended up losing in the uh, final four match versus Gypsy King, and we had a, a, a huge amount of success with meow. Um, with Mankey, um, Badoo, Corefish, a lot of other Pokemon too, but Meowth just stood out to me so much. This, this thing is a this thing's a monster. Um, as you can see on screen, it gets the Technician ability. It has base 90 speed and base 45 attack. I'm not going to talk too much about stats because they don't really matter except for speed tiers. Everything else is basically really, really, really low and little cup rolls are insane damage rolls are insane so i'm not going to talk too much about attack stats but predominantly going to be a physical attack and pokemon it gets fake out and faint it gets return frustration and double edge it gets water pulse hidden power of choice all of which are uh, faint fake out hidden power of choice water pulse all boosted by um technician U-turn boosted by technician, knockoff I think is boosted by technician. Don't quote me on that one, but uh, yeah, this thing's really really solid. Life orb, silk scarf, um, choice band. I don't really see myself using choice band variant. Maybe a choice scarf variant though. It does have a really really solid speed tier. Being these, uh, it, it's speed ties as the second fastest Pokemon in Little Cup alongside things like uh, Abra, Wingull. Ponyta, so on and so forth. Only things to outspeed it are things like uh, Diglett and Elekid and stuff like that. So yeah, really, really, really solid pick. Um, and got it at number 12 overall. And then we turned around and had the wheel pick. And we wanted to kind of... So Meowth has a few certain checks in the tier, like certain things that um, can put a stop to Meowth. So what I wanted to do... It's kind of build a team to where I could eliminate those threats by having like a volt turn or U-turn or volt switch. Some kind of spam into Diglett. As you can see, Diglett wasn't picked up in round one and I had the first pick of round two so I picked it up. Um, Diglett can come in and trap things, eliminate them and make room or make a uh, leeway for Meowth to come in and put in the work. It's not, like, like I mentioned, it traps things with Arena Trap, uh, gets Earthquake, Rock Slide, Sucker Punch, Final Gambit, um, Stealth Rocks, Substitute, Memento, all kinds of cool sets like that. It gets Reversal, some pretty decent coverage, but mostly going to be spamming Earthquake and Rock Slide, maybe Choice Scarf variants, Focus Sash variants, and um, Z move variants, Continental Crush, um, Tectonic Rage, so on and so forth. And then Z Memento could be a really cool thing too. Um, 
but yeah, that's going to be it for Diglett. That's the main idea behind uh, Diglett, though, was to trap things, eliminate them for the rest of my team to put in the work. As you'll see, there's some other things that Diglett can trap, you know, to open up holes for the rest of my team. Super solid Mon. Like I mentioned, this Mon speed uh, stat is like, uh, it tops out at 20 speed which is the highest in the little cup format so that's pretty nice to have always going to be able to at least speed tie with non-choice scarf pokemon which is always nice um but yeah that's going to be it for diglett and now we're going to go back to another mod that we've came uh <laughs> came to love during the apa little cup tour um Mankey's always been a favorite pokemon of mine in terms of design and um things like that but in terms of competitive use i've never really felt Mankey to be standout i did not play a lot of little cup though so uh um i've been playing a lot of little cup lately and played that tournament like i mentioned and yeah i love Mankey now it's it's so good it gets u-turn close combat spam reversal brick break um iron tail ice punch I think it gets some kind of uh, dark move. I think Night Slash gets um, Vital Spirit, Defiant, and Anger Point. Anger Point's kind of useless though. Um, Choice Scarf, um, Eviolite, Focus Sash, Life Orb maybe, Choice Band. All, all kinds of different sets I can run with Mankey too. And it's a pretty solid fighting type with a decent speed tier. Tops out at se uh, 17 I believe, which isn't slow. But is it like super fast or anything? I guess it's kind of like the the mid tier for speed. It's it's kind of fast. I'll say that I guess. <laughs> but yeah, next up we're gonna grab another favorite from the APA Little Cup Tour. Um, Badu. This thing put in the work. This is a really really solid Pokemon um, with the Eviolite. It's super bulky, especially on the especially defensive side. It gets natural cure, which is awesome. It can, can come in, can be paralyzed, can be glared, can be uh, frozen, can be burnt, whatever it may be. And then I can switch out and cure my status. Giga Drain Sludge Bomb, a uh, very, very nice dual priority. I mean, not priority, but uh, <laughs> same type attack bonus. And then gets really good coverage with things like uh, extra sensory. It gets spikes and synthesis, so it's got uh, recover, uh, reliable recovery and hazard stack options. Um, so now I have a stealth rocker and a um, spiker. So not bad, getting getting to where I want to be. This thing, uh, like I mentioned, it gets good coverage. It gets extra sensory. It gets shadow ball, um, giga drain, and energy ball. It gets sludge bomb. Um, it gets sleep powder. Which is really nice, can put things to sleep. Uh, if it's a little bit slower than I am, I can put it to sleep, set up some spikes, get out of there. Or, uh, you know, depending on the situation, I can put something to sleep and then make an offensive switch out to start applying pressure. Um, yeah, very, very solid Pokemon. And it's a grass type, which is really, really solid. Since uh, Diglett is my ground type and it's not, you know, I don't want to just switch it into a an electric type every time because it could be packing hidden power grass or water or ice or something like that and bought me whereas I could pivot into Badoo first and then check out what's going on and <laughs> move on from there next up we have uh, Smoochum so speaking of the APA Little Cup Tour and losing to Gypsy King I've been watching his run in the uh, regular season of the APA I think season 4 and Smoochum has been putting in the work and this this thing is a very 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 powerful Pokemon it has uh, a, a typing of ice and psychic it gets oblivious and forewarn so I can't be taunted or anything like that and forewarn if you don't know when you come onto the field it lets you know your opponent's strongest move or something like that uh, it might be strongest versus you but I'm pretty sure it's the strongest move overall it has a nice uh, special attack stat of 85 I wasn't going to talk much about the base stats and stuff but when they're outstanding, like uh, this, especially the speed stats, like uh, 85, 80, 85, 75 and above are pretty, pretty solid 
Um, <laughs> and then uh, anything below 70 is kind of average or below average. But yeah, Smoochum gets Ice Beam, Psy, uh, Psy Shock, Psy Kick, Shadow Ball. Um, it gets Taunt. Um, I think it gets Aurora Veil too, so that's pretty cool. Um, it gets Grass Knot, Fake Out, Nasty Plot, Parish Song, um, Mean Look, Reflect, and I think it's Light Screen as well. Magic Coat, Calm Mind, Trick Room, um, Wish, Trick itself, Sub Toxic, Signal Beam, um, Shadow Ball. I don't know if I mentioned that already. And then Seismic Toss. It's, it's just uh, <laughs> endless, really. It's an uh, endless amount of coverage and and then there's some weird text that has like miracle eye and mimic and skill swap and so on and so forth but yeah that's gonna be it for our uh, fifth pick and we'll move on to the second part of the draft and we'll be right back our next pick was star you this gives us another really really fast Pokemon uh, tops out at 19 speed ties with Ponyta um, Meowth, Abra, so on and so forth. Second, second fastest in the tier, uh, again. Um, gets Analytic and Natural Cure, two of which are very good abilities. Analytic boosting my attacks by 1.3 um, if I move last in the turn or attack. Um, basically, <laughs> if I attack and my attack goes last, it's boosted by 1.3, which is basically like a life orb. And then um, if something switches out and something comes in on my attack, it also takes the analytic boosted damage as well. So it's really nice. Natural Cure, same thing as, like I mentioned with Badoo, it can come in, take a status, switch out, uh, rid itself of the status, and then continue the match. Life Orb, um, Eviolite, Rapid Spin, Hydro Pump, Skull, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. This thing gets really, really good coverage too. Dazzling Gleam. Um, hidden Power of Choice, I think it gets Grass Knot if I'm not mistaken, Signal Beam, um, Thunder Wave, Magic Coat, light, light, excuse me, light Screen and Reflect, I think it gets Reflect Type as well, which is pretty cool, if you ask me, <laughs> which a lot of people don't ask me. It gets Whirlpool, um, I don't think it gets like uh, Parish Song or anything like that, though. that would be dope. Um, yeah, really, really solid Mon though. Um, um, singular water type really 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 solid and uh, like I mentioned rapid spin support really really nice especially once you look at the next Pokemon I grabbed uh, which is Larvesta here um, this thing <laughs> funnily enough it does not get things like quiver dance and its attack stat is higher than its special attack stat so more of a flame charge flare blitz morning sun u-turn leech life type of a Pokemon here with you know things like acrobatics um, calm mind I think it's work up um, it gets light screen I think it gets reflect I'm not sure don't quote me on that actually that sounds bad <laughs> toxic and will-o-wisp obviously so like a toxic morning sunset could be problematic for opponents it gets nice coverage like wild charges and headbutt for um, water types and you know like fat fighting types or like uh or if i guess if just you know psychic coverage works better than electric coverage <laughs> a wild charge seems like the more obvious way to go gigavolt havoc um speaking of z moves and stuff like that in this in the pokemon battle federation this season um any pokemon can use a z move but there is no Omni boosting and there is no evasion boosting. Otherwise, all Z moves are illegal and encouraged <laughs> and obviously one per match. Um, like uh, the game's made that way. You can't use any more than one per match anyway. Anyway, next up, another Pokemon from the APA tour. We've got Azuril. Fell in love with this thing. Used it as a... Uh, as you can see on screen, it gets huge power, but it also gets thick fat and sap sipper. I've used this thing to check Snivy with sap sipper. I've used it to check Ponyta and um, Charmander, um, Volca or not Volcarona, but Larvesta. All those <laughs> immaculately powerful um, fire types with thick fat. 
it checks uh, swine up really well it doesn't get fairy stab which is unfortunate but it does get frustration and knockoff so that's that's pretty good i think in my opinion frustration return obviously um knockoff then it gets things like encore toxic rest sleep talk um light screen you get scald and surf which like they're they're special so they're not doing that much damage but they could come in clutch um endear fake tears just a bunch of weird stuff really um it, it does get whirlpool but it doesn't get a uh, pair song which is unfortunate and then it gets things like uh like soak so that i could potentially say he's got a poison type and i could uh soak it turn it into a water type and then click poison and then proceed to wear it down with toxic but uh anyway we'll move on to our next pick which is going to be bonsley we needed a uh, another stealth rocker didn't want to rely on diglett as our stealth rocker and this gives us some really really solid um physical bulk as well as a pokemon with the ability sturdy which basically guarantees stealth rocks and there's an item in little cup called berry juice which if uh, you're brought down below half half hp or you know blow you get 20 hp back which is basically full health um in little cup <laughs> so that's really nice this thing gets foul play um brick break explosion earth power calm mind low kick <laughs> rock polish rock slide stealth rock stomping tantrum sucker punch stealth rock toxic curse defense curl dig endure fake uh fake tears again another pokemon with that um rock tomb which is really really nice because it's stab and it's 100 percent chance to lower the target speed by one stage which is really nice it gets role play and um and, th and then it gets thief so like if i was a berry juice variant my my berry juice popped and oh so first of all my sturdy popped and my berry juice activated i went back to full and then my sturdy was popped again and i used thief to steal a berry juice or still in an evil light or something like that that would be really cool i could see that being like a really really fun time in uh, the league uh, mostly going to be like an inviolite variant or a berry juice variant on this pokemon much like i used onyx in the uh, apa little cup tour i believe but uh yeah that's just about it for that bad boy um it's a pure rock type which is really nice and we can move on to our last pick of the draft we do only have 10 picks in the little cup draft and it's going to be our boy corefish coming back from the apa little cup tour we've got our boy adapt here with the adaptability definitely going to be the only ability we'll be running um crab hammer waterfall crunch knockoff dragon dance swords dance aqua jet endeavor facade frustration <laughs> night slash protect sludge bomb for those uh um grass fairy types which is really nice it gets taunt and switcheroo x scissor counter dig all kinds of different uh stuff to hit you with with this bad boy and uh it was really nice to finish out the the draft with this i felt like looking at the team all together just it's oh man i can't wait to use it um Mankey's uh, okay so first of all A alakazam abra abra <laughs> abra cadabra alakazam and mega alakazam are my favorite pokemon second up though goes to Mankey and primate so having Mankey on the squad dead center of the screen right now too looking awesome um badoo Mankey, meowth ozoril and corefish we have used before diglett um smoochum star you larvesta and bonsley we have not used in the draft league format before really hope to use these pokemon especially especially smooch them. hopefully it can put in the work i've got a cool nickname for it to come out so <laughs> looking forward to that so let me know what you think about the team leave a like comment and subscribe all the good stuff and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching